Alright, hello, and welcome to another Scribble Nauts video. Let's continue the madness in the prison. Paper and Penitentiary. As always, we need a companion, so this time it's a speedy, rideable, flying clank from Ratchet and Clank. Give me something to blend into the environment and make me escape. Okay then, let's create an object for you. What about a camouflaged bouncy walrus? Will this help you? <laughs> I don't think that's helped you, but um, I'll leave you there for now. Uh, what's, what's your problem, Mr. Magician? Oh, you're a villain. All supervillains have an evil animal companion. I need one. Don't worry, I've got the perfect animal for you. A gassy, evil, cute dodo. There we go. Did you like that? He loved it! Oh, everyone loves an evil, cute, gassy dodo. <laughs> we need someone who would want to watch these televisions all day. Well, no problem. I've got an idea for this. A blind grandfather. Oh, God, that's so bad. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. I'm so evil. I'm so sorry. I can only apologise. Okay, looks like we've got a challenge. Give each prisoner a reminder of home. The football player needs someone to room with. Someone involved in sports. A sports person, you say? I have the perfect sports person. A legless, armless gymnast. There we go. Poor lady, what happened to you? I mean, technically, you should be a Paralympian. The halfling was captured during an important quest. What the hell is a halfling? Um, I have no idea what to make for you, but have a go. Stinky shy goblin. There we go. Are you happy with that? Oh, she doesn't really like her stinky goblin. I need something else. Bouncy walrus. There we go. I'm going to try it again. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure why I find that so funny. Why does bouncy walrus not fix anything? Come on. The saxophone player misses making music with others. Right, someone to join the band. We're gonna start a band. I have the perfect band member for you. A musical flamboyant dancing dingo. Dingo, dingo, dingo. There we go. Join the band, dingo. Oh, that actually worked. Who would like to see this band? A man with a saxophone and a flamboyant dingo with a trumpet. So the scientist wants another member of the scientific community. A scientific hungry hungry hippo. I don't know why this might work. Oh that's a big hippo. I can barely fit it anywhere. There you go Mr. Scientist, you've got a hungry hungry hippo. Hold on wait, what's that in its arm? Is that a microscope? Oh isn't that cute? Well, scientific hungry hungry hippo didn't work. What about a scientific rude monkey? Oh god, no, it's fighting the hippo. Oh dear. The cosplayer is a huge fan of video games and anime. Creates someone from nerd culture he can talk to. Since when do people that like video games have friends anyway? What about a smackers? I can't have smackers. Uh, what's smasher? I don't know what smasher is. Oh, it's a cannon. Would you like a cannon? Um, no, I didn't seem to like that. I thought people that like anime like cannons. How about Crash Bandicoot? Everyone loves Crash Bandicoot. Whoa! It actually worked. Game of the Year. I think Crash Bandicoot 4 definitely deserves Game of the Year. Okay, so the Tooth Fairy wants a tooth from this werewolf. The best way to do this is to kill the werewolf. There you go. Now take his teeth. Well, that didn't work, so how about some rusty pliers? There you go, Tooth Fairy. Oh god, no, she's gonna do it as well. Oh, that'd be so painful. Oh god, the werewolf just died. Bad Tooth Fairy, very bad Tooth Fairy. Oh, hello, Skinny Santa. We can't have you being skinny. I need to make you a great big slap-up meal. Roasted, buttery, gassy, peppery snail. It's not just any roasted, buttery, gassy, peppery snail. It's an MS roasted, buttery, gassy, peppery snail. <laughs> oh, Santa enjoyed that. 
Hold on, Snow Way, did he just eat that snowman? There was ice cream for dessert, you know, Santa, you greedy bitch. Right, reach the star right in the tower. The gauntlet. Ooh, is this going to be some kind of race? Okay, well, there's a door block in my way, so let's get a rocket launcher. When in doubt, firepower. Attack. Ooh, oh, that seems like a strong door. How do you stop attacking? Um, drop, drop it, drop the rocket launcher. Oh, it's actually landed on the button, open the door. Success! See, I knew a rocket launcher would be the idea. A hallway of fire blocks the path. I know how to put out the fire. With some urine. Oh, I can't have urine. Oh, wait a minute, I can have urinal. Yeah, let's create a urinal. That'll work, won't it? There we go. I think I'm taking the piss now. Leaky urinal. That might work because there'll be water coming out of it. There we go. A leaky urinal. Oh, it's actually working. So when in doubt, use a leaky urinal. Wait a minute. Did that just set off some of those spikes down below? Was that meant to happen? Anyway, I've passed the fire. I've passed the fire gauntlet. Oh, God. Why is there a robot firing at me? I need something to distract him. How about an anti-gravity floppy cat? Will that distract you? There we go. <laughs> so he's got out his hand. I can just walk past him. And now I can take your gun. Ha ha! The, oh, I said I can take your gun. Ha ha! It's now mine. Sorry! Oh no, he's going to attack me. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Yep, 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 yep. I'm running away. Starlight was destroyed. Make it to the time machine to set things right. Okay, well, there's a key here. So uh, let's pick up this key. How to get past this door? The switch is on the other side. Um, teleporter. Why not? Let's create a teleporter. Oh, yes. Teleport. There we go. Let's teleport. Oh, it actually does teleport out there. All right. I'll press the switch. Clone me. Press the switch. Go on. Oh, no. My clone is an idiot. Let's try again. Teleport. And again, teleport. Let's just make as many of me's as possible. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many Maxwells out there. How's it going, clone me? At least one of you should be able to open this door, can't you? Well, since my clones are all idiots, I guess I have to go the long way round. How do I get past this spiky looking boulder? How about a vacuum cleaner? Let's just suck it up. Oh god, no, it's it's gonna destroy the vacuum cleaner. Well that's not good. Hold on, what about what about if I blow it out the way? Giant fan. The tool, of course. I mean, I could have a person who might blow it out the way, but... Oh, no, it's facing the wrong way. Oh, you stupid fan. How do I get the fan... Oh, no, the robot's now going to attack me. It's all going... No, he's not attacking me. Okay, it's fine. But how do you get the fan to turn the other way? What about if I press clockwise? Oh, I can't have clockwise. What's cockish? I've got a cockish fan. Okay, so a cockish fan works. The cock it, making it cockish makes it turn the other way around. Well, that makes sense. Put it in the bin, though. It's in the way of me now. Lightning storms protect the top of this prison. Well, don't worry. I've got a flying toilet. So I guess just time it in between the lightning strikes. It's pretty close. This toilet isn't the fastest aircraft in the world. There we go. That was not too bad at all. Make it to the time machine, but watch out for the strong gusts. Strong gusts? Oh, I see. There's a big fan down here. What about if I create a sticky soft bed, then put it to the spikes? Will that work? No, that just destroys the bed. Great! I guess I just have to time it when that vent is off. Although this toilet incident... Oh, no! I've been hit! Oh, I think I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. It's okay. Uh, all of the challenges have been completed. Now use the time machine for a second chance to grab the star right. Time to time travel, apparently. The star right hasn't been grabbed. Destroy it, yet grab it. Oh, we're now in like the 1950s. It's all black and white. I can't even see the switch. Where is it? Help bridge the gap between the princess and me. No problem. Duh, chocolate ladder, like a curly whirly. That's a big curly whirly. You know, I've dropped the ladder on the floor. Um, that didn't quite go to plan. I wanted a horizontal one, not a vertical one. Right, let's try a horizontal chocolate ladder. No, that's just the same thing. But there we go. Look, let's, let's bridge the gap. Now use the chocolate ladder, princess. Oh, she doesn't seem to like it, so I need something else. 
How about a flying rideable grandma? Will that do? There you go. Use your. Oh my god, it actually works. She's flying on grandma. There we go. Reunited. Oh, what a happy love story. Maxwell needs to escape prison. Give the tired guard a place to sit. How about a hot tub? That's very relaxing. There you go. What? You don't want to sit in the hot tub? Oh, screw you. After a long day's work, I do like a nice comfy spike. There you go. Oh no, it's attacking him. Oh, this has not gone to plan. Oh dear. Oh no, he's dead. An ally was defeated. Um, let's retry that. What about a comfy, rideable, tiny giraffe? There you go. Then he's sitting down. I've passed. Let me on to the next bit, game. Oh, come on. Really? Well, I guess I can just put bed. There we go, game. Bed. Don't let me be creative then. Oh, hooray. I've passed. How dare you not let me be creative? The guard unlocked the door. Now a ghost stands in the way. A ghost? What is going on in this prison? It's mad. I need a physical body. Well, okay then. Body. Will that just work? A uh, torso or corpse? A uh, torso. Here, have a torso. There we go. It's turned him into a torso, just like a floating torso. Well, apparently that passed. <laughs> How did that even work? Uh, the ghost scared the door open. Now a prisoner is craving a hearty meal. Ooh, do you want another of my snail specials? How about a salty edible grandma? Oh god, look away, children. <laughs> he's, he's actually going to eat her. Oh my god. Really? Does that not fill you up? You just ate grandma. I think she is pretty filling. How about something from the chip shop? A tasty edible battered sofa. Oh, kind of battered. Um, Bitter. Yeah, let's have bitter. A nice bitter sofa. Yum, yum. Oh, he enjoyed his sofa. Okay, so the sofa worked. But the grandma didn't. Sometimes I just don't understand this game. Running the security system is a lonely job. You need man's best friend. Well, don't worry. I know man's best friend is. A giant talented spider, of course. There we go. There's man's best friend. Oh, the spider likes you. It's like it's humping him. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, what about if I make you ride it? There we go, you're riding the spider. Hmm, didn't seem to work though, he needs something else. Friendly maggot maybe? Was that what you want? A nice pet friendly maggot. Oh my god, he doesn't want that either. Well, what do you want? Don't worry, I know man's best friend is a dead dog. There you go, have a dead dog. Oh, he loved it. An important object was incapacitated, but he loved it. Oh, I have to retry all of that again? Okay, this time, what about a legless, headless, floppy bunny rabbit? There we go, who's a happy bunny rabbit? It's like a blob of glue. <laughs> that is not a bunny rabbit. How about a useless dog? There we go, you didn't like your dead dog, what about useless? The important object was in camera, oh, not again! Fine game I'll play it normally. Dog. Isn't that boring? Hooray, I've passed by playing the game boringly. Oh god, the end was right there as well. I was right at the end. All I had to do was put dog, but no, I had to be silly and put dead dog. Okay, so we have a gnome. Show me something from the yard I was stolen from. Magical mushroom, maybe? Here we go, have a magical mushroom. Oh, lovely. When in doubt, use magic mushrooms. I think on that note, that is where I'm going to end the video. As you can see, everyone in the prison is very happy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. She's still on her bouncy walrus. But for now, take care and leave me alone.